Anthony DeSclafani allowed a couple of base runners in the first but escaped. Dom Smith leads off. Bell. DeSclafani covering. And he corralled that kind of a high throw from Bell. But they get the out. One away. So one out here is VR. It's a walk for VR. After that last pitch for ball four to VR, there was something noticed in the Giants' dugout, and Dave Greshner, the Giants' trainer and manager, Gabe Kapler, came out to visit with Di Sclafani. You watch when he went over and covered. There was a little bit of a hitch in his right leg. And wow, this is an unexpected turn of events. He's going to leave the game. The word on Anthony Di Sclafani is that he left with right ankle discomfort. Mm. Jose Alvarez is on to pitch now in relief of Anthony Di Sclafani. And he's going to pick it off. Wow. <laughs> now that's a pickoff. Yeah, that's a pickoff right there. When you completely bow lock the guy at first base to where he can't even move, you've made a great pickoff. Two down, nobody on. Struck him out, inning over. No score. Brandon Crawford will bat. And in the air toward the left field line. Smith a long run. Davis going out. Smith coming in, sliding. He makes the catch. Dominic Smith had allowed a ground to cover toward the left field line on that floater off the bat of Crawford. And Smith making a sliding grab just before the foul line to take a base hit away. Two up, two down. Pass ball hit in the air. Deep left center. Nimmo's back for it. He's at the warning track. He slows down. Makes the catch. One, two, three. Inning for McGill. Tyler McGill will face the bottom three in the Giants order. Swung on and missed. Change up and a good one from Tyler McGill. It's been a good pitch for him this year. That's down the left field line. Dom Smith cuts it off. Dickerson's going to test him. No. After a 40 foot round of first base, he put the brakes on and raced back to first. That's the first hit for the Giants against McGill. So here's the former Matt Wilmer Flores. Base hit to left field. But Dickerson started to go back to, to second on that liner. So he was ultra cautious. But it does set up a first and third and one out now for the top of the lineup. He drives one down the left field line, slicing into the corner. A fair ball. It stays in play. Dickerson scores. Wilmer to third. A double. For Lamont Wade Jr., one nothing Giants. Lamont Wade Jr. I mean, he hesitated coming out of the box. I think I think he thought it was going to slice foul. Runners at second and third, one run in. Bryant struck out his first time. One two coming, struck him out with a slider. Good pitch by McGill to get Bryant. The Giants won the Mets nothing. It will be Jake McGee, a power pitcher, and Pete Alonso, a power hitter, to lead off against him. It hit him. Alonso hit. On the left arm, he is doubled over in pain right now. He does wear some padding over his left elbow. Hard to tell exactly where that pitch got him, but he's favoring that left arm as he walks up the first base line. Got him on the elbow guard, but it still appeared to create a lot of pain. So he's the tying run at first. Conforto the batter. They do not put the shift on against Michael. And he pulls one on the ground. Up the middle base hit. Alonzo turns second. He'll go on to third. Yastrzemski's throw goes to second. And the Mets have the table set. First and third and nobody out. And the Mets have the tying run 90 feet away with nobody out here in the ninth inning. J.D. Davis the batter now. Fly ball out to right field. Tagging it third. Alonzo. Yastrzemski's got a good arm. Here comes Alonzo. Here comes the throw. Not in time. And the Mets tie the game. J.D. Davis delivers the tying run with a sacrifice fly. Alonzo sore elbow and all comes home with the tying run. And the Mets score in the ninth to tie it at one. Now the batter Dominic Smith. Toward the middle. Crawford shows it right from the glove to Bryant Cover. Wow. There's no way. Crawford goes on a spear. And how's he going to get it? He glove flips it over to Estella and they get the force. And immediately this play starts going into the MVP chant and that is an MVP type play and that's a shot in the arm for McGee that play now VR strike three called right down the middle but the Mets have tied it. Well Pete Alonso has come out of the game after getting whacked on the elbow by a pitch he scored the tying run but he's out now Dom Smith moves to first Kevin Pilar comes in to play left and Edwin Diaz will pitch the bottom of the ninth Diaz has retired the first two in the ninth. 2 2 coming. Struck him out. Diaz fans Jastrzemski. A seven pitch inning for Diaz, and we're going to extra innings. And for the Giants, Tony Watson comes into the game now. And he, of course, will have to inherit that 
automatic runner at second base and that would be Jonathan VR the Mets one of their fastest runners. The bunt Watson's got it over to Bryant the tag and he's out and it wasn't that close. Tony Watson could not have played that any better. You throw you have a, a lean towards the right side you react to the to the ball it's just too much steam on it. A perfect strike to Bryant who puts on the tag that is huge in this situation. Now with the runner at first base and one out. That one is hit well deep into left field. Way back there it is caught by the leaping Lamont Way Jr. Two down. Wow. Another great defensive play. And Wade, who played most of this afternoon in right field, swings over to left field and gets a very difficult play. And he goes back, goes high up to get it, and it's an awkward tilt into the fence. Great concentration on the play. Did not let the fence affect the way he made that catch. Two on, two on. La Stella, he trapped it against his midsection. Inning over. First and third and one out. And now Evan Longoria will come up as a pinch hitter. 2-2 to Longoria. Popped it up on the infield. McNeil waiting for it. Two out. Huge out for Edwin Diaz as he gets Longoria to pop up. Back to the top of the lineup and Lamont Wade Jr. And Wade pops one up. Shallow left. Pilar on the line makes the catch in foul territory and we will go to the 11th inning. Tyler Chatwood who has bounced around baseball. He was with Toronto now with the Giants. Conforto had a base hit in the ninth to help build the Mets only run of the game. 2 2. Breaking ball drilled to right field. Base hit and the Mets will take the lead. It goes back to the wall. McNeil scores. Conforto the second. He slides in safely with an RBI double. And the Mets lead it 2 to 1 in the 11th. Conforto drives in his 30th run of the year and none bigger to put the Mets in front in the 11th. Jerry's familiar will bid for his second save of the year. Wade, the free runner, is the tying run at second. Tommy Lestella will be the first man up. Base hit to right field. Wade rounds third. He'll score easily. Conforto throws towards second. Tommy Lestella's first hit of the day in the clutch. Tied up. That is a money swing of the bat, and it was rifled through the infield. And Lestella says, I got this. So they waited till 2 0, oh, and now they'll give Crawford the intentional walk and pitch to Mike Yastrzemski instead. Swing and a miss, strike three. Yastrzemski strikes out on a fastball, and Jerry's familia keeps it tied. Don Smith, your runner at second base, and Jonathan VR up to face Chatwood. Again, he pulls it back, slashes it to left field. That is a fair ball. Picked up by Wade. Smith comes in to score, and the Mets go back in front. Ball hit right near the chalk down the left field line. Jonathan Villar drives in the go ahead run and the Mets lead three to two in the 12th. Ooh, that might be foul Ronnie. Yes. They're going to overturn this call. Oh my. Less than an inch Gary. And yeah, that's what they got. Yeah. Jeez. Wow. Chat one of the Giants they get a do over. Struck him out. Oh, that's a great slider right there. And the Mets have runners at the corners with one out. So now the Mets are a fly ball away from regaining the lead with Kevin Pilar coming up. And Pilar hits a rocket out to left field. Back goes way to the warning track. Back at the wall. It's out of here. Kevin Pilar with a three run homer. Pilar back in San Francisco. Almost did one his last time up. This time he makes no mistake. Pilar with a bomb to put the Mets in front in the 12th inning number 10 for Pilar and it's five to two New York what a big hit for Kevin Pilar a two out double for Jeff McNeil and now chance Cisco will make his Mets debut and Cisco drives one toward the right field corner that's a base hit and that'll chase so McNeil chance Cisco on the first pitch he sees as a Met with an RBI double in the top of the 12th to make it six to two. Welcome to the club. And now the Giants are down to their final out and the pitcher Tyler Chatwood is going to have to take the turn at bat. Now Reed tried to close it down. He struck him out and the ball game is over. And on a day the Mets were called out by their owner their offense arrived late and the Mets snap a five game losing streak with a much needed six to two 12 inning victory over the Giants.